Okay, so I'm going to do a very quick example um, using rotation vectors or the spin vector. So the spin vector, remember we defined it in the last video to be omega is equal to the rotation or the spin vector and that's equal to one half of the curl of the velocity field. And remember the curl of the velocity field is equal to vorticity. So the spin vector is equal to one half of the vorticity. Now in this problem, um, same as the last one, we they give us three components of a velocity field and ask us to find um, the rotation vector and to determine if this is a irrotational flow field. So they want to know they want to know um, if del cross V is equal to zero because del cross V equal to zero would be um, irrotational and if it's not equal to zero that means it's not irrotational okay and again that's that's del cross V we need to find this so we see here this is going to be a cross product so one half of del cross V okay and I and I rewrote it. Let me just cover that up for now. Okay, I wrote it here. One half of del cross B is one half of the determinant of this. So we have our IJK unit vectors. We have um, the partials, which is our del vector. And we have the uh, components of the velocity field. So we have del cross V. Okay, and all of this, I don't, don't want to scare you here, but all of this, if you were to solve just this determinant without the one half, okay, you would get everything here. You'd get everything in this big bracket, okay? That's that's just solving the determinant, nothing fancy. And now we multiply it by one half. We multiply everything here by one half, okay? So let's just let's solve this out. Um, I already did the partials in the last video. If you want to stop the video and find out the partials here, just for your own practice, you can you can do that. But basically, um, our curl, our uh, rotation vector is equal to one half of the entire quantity of the partial of v of z in respect to y minus the partial of v of y in respect to z in the i direction plus the partial of v of x over, or the partial of v of x in respect to z minus the partial of v of z in respect to x in the j direction plus the partial of v of y in respect to x minus the partial of v of x in respect to y in the k direction. And all of this times one half. Okay, and after we simplified it and plugged in the partials, we get this. We get one half. Um, 0 minus the quantity y plus 2z in the in the i direction we get uh, plus 1 half 2z minus negative 3z in the j direction plus 1 half y minus 2y in the k direction remember you can you can uh, plug the partials of these into here and solve that out and you get this okay so I'm just saving you some uh, time we simplify it a little bit more we distribute we already distributed the one half in. We get one half of negative y minus two z in the i plus one half times two z plus three z in the j plus one half negative y in the k. Okay. And if we solve that out some more, we get if we distribute all the one halves in, we get negative y over two minus z in the i plus z plus three half z in the j plus one half negative y in the k okay and in the end when we combine everything together we get negative quantity z plus y over two in the i plus five half z in the j minus y over two in the k okay remember the question asked us is this flow irrotational and remember we said well if del cross v is equal to zero then it is irrotational, right? It's not spinning. 
here, we didn't get zero. We have something. So del cross v is equal to something. And that means del cross v is not equal to zero. This does not look like zero. So we know that the flow field um, is not irrotational. 